Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to Scentsy Saturday. Today, we are talking about cinnamon buttercream and scary good. We'll start here with cinnamon buttercream, and this was chosen by Kiera Lamone. Thank you so much. Uh, set notes here are uh, Italian buttercream, creamy buttercapone, cinnamon butter cake, oh, sorry, cinnamon cake, sugar spice, and everything nice. And it is nice. It is so nice that last year, I think it came out last year, I put it in my club and for whatever reason, sometimes I do things, I'm not sure why, I took it out of my club, but when it came back this year, I put it back in my club. It is that good. Um, so it's very, very authentic. If someone were to put a piece of cinnamon cake with creamy buttercream on top of it, this is exactly what I would smell. No more, no less. It's very authentic. Yes, there's cinnamon in it. It's bakery cinnamon. It's not really an aggressive, assertive cinnamon. I still get the buttercream, the such a good, yummy, creamy buttercream and the cake, and it is just really, really authentic, and it's really yummy. If you like bakery scents, if bakery is your wheelhouse, I highly recommend cinnamon buttercream. Do not be afraid of the cinnamon. It's really good. Um, so for me, Centipede was like 8 or 9 out of 10. I really loved it. I also was very impressed, as I was in the past, that's why I put it in my club, uh, impressed with the throw. Now for me, uh, vanilla bean buttercream, I love it. It doesn't throw really great. I would give it like a 6 or 7. However, this I would give a 7 to 8. It's very, very decent, considering the fact that the buttercream may have or could have made it a lighter throw, but it did not. So for me, I love this. It's in my club. If you like bakery, go ahead, get it. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. It really is that good. So thumbs up for that one. And then the other one we're going to talk about is Scary Good. And this was chosen by Brooke Ashworth. So thank you very much, Brooke. Set notes here are pumpkin puree, fresh cinnamon, toasted butterscotch, and creamy vanilla. Now, this came out last year as a scent of the month, and I do remember it. I remember liking it, not loving it. Funny how things go. I like it much, much better this year than I did last year, and I don't know why, just my scent preferences, my nose, whatever. Um, and while, <laughs> yes, there is cinnamon in here. And I would say compared to the cinnamon buttercream, the cinnamon is a little stronger in this one, but you still do get the pumpkin. It still does come through. Um, do I get the toasted butterscotch? Maybe a little bit of a sweetness in there, but I couldn't really say that, oh yeah, that's butterscotch. Uh, not necessarily, but it is a little sweet. All together, it is really good and I really did enjoy it. And I'm glad I still had this one left from last year. Um, so anyway, this is a thumbs up. So scent appeal for me, um, I'm going to give it a 7 to 8. I really actually enjoyed it, like I said, more than I did last year. And for throw, also pretty decent, maybe 7, 7.5 in there. It, it, it wasn't a blow you out of the house scent, but it was definitely present. Definitely gives you fall vibes, for sure fall vibes. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just about ready to start melting some fall stuff. I'm just going to wait a few more weeks till the end of the month and... Um, probably change out my warmers uh, September 1st. I'll give you a new warmer walk through then and uh, start melting and burning some um, fall wax. So yeah, something to look forward to. So anyway, that's it for now. Okay, next week says, right, right, right. So next week, our choices are going to be, and all of them are available in the current fall winter catalog. Perfect Peppermint. Spiced Ember Glow. Bright Cider Life, and, uh, oh, I just melted that one, didn't I? I'll pull another one. I'll, oh, I better do that now. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Okay, sorry about that, guys. And finally, number four will be Huckleberry Hideaway. So Huckleberry Hideaway, Bright Cider Life, Spiced Ember Glow, and Perfect Peppermint. 
So the first two people to respond down below with one pick each, that will be the wax I will melt and review next Saturday. Um, uh, also this week or next week, probably this week, actually, you probably will have seen it already. Um, I'm going to also review the upcoming scent of the month for September, which is Gimme Candy. So look for that as well. I do have a brochure for the warmer as well. Sneak peek. Yep. There you go. Anyway, that's it for now, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.